In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stain your front door to make it look like a wood door for less than 20 bucks. This is what the door will look like when you're finished. And the only things you'll need is gel stain and a paintbrush. And then if your door is a different color, you will need to buy some tan primer to paint it beforehand. But that's the stain we got right there from Lowe's. So today I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial on how to stain a fiberglass front door to make it look like wood. When James and I were purchasing our front door, I really wanted a wood front door, but realistically I didn't want to have to restain it every couple of years and do the upkeep that comes with a real wood door. So we went for fiberglass. So this door was a very expensive door and it's the door that I really wanted. So we went ahead and got it, but to get it pre-stained and finished, it was over $2,000 extra. And I obviously didn't want to pay that. So we figured out a way to stain it ourselves. So this over here, I already have done. I didn't record myself doing this side because I didn't know what I was doing yet. But now that I've done it some, I'm kind of familiar with what to do and I feel better about it. So I'm just making a quick little tutorial because this is something that anyone could do as a quick little DIY project to make your front door either updated or to paint a new one that you wanted to save money on. So this is the stain that I bought. You do have to buy a gel stain and this is what's recommended from the manufacturer. Our door is a Thermotru door, but it just has to be a gel stain. I went with the hickory stain just because I wanted more of a natural wood look. So you can do it one of two ways. When I first started doing it, I would put a lot on and then I had an old rag and I would just wipe it off. But I come to find out that it's actually easier if you just put a little less on your paintbrush and you just keep spreading it around and keep spreading it around until it gets down to the consistency. Now with normal stain, you want to put it on kind of neat up and down, but with this, I found it actually works better if you just kind of circle around to get in all the grooves. So if you'll zoom in real close here, you can see that actually on the door, our door does have like a little bit of like this grainy stuff. It's hard to see in the video, but there are grains. So you want to make sure you get the stain into those grains. So when I'm painting, I pretty much just go like this. And you just kind of wiggle the stain around, wiggle the stain around like so and you just keep wiggling it around until it gets in all the nooks and crannies. And then instead of wiping the excess off, you can just keep picking it back up with the paintbrush and moving it down on your door. Until you get it to the consistency that you want. And then you obviously don't want to have any really dark patches, so then you just kind of pull it down like this, and then just keep going. Did you? Oh, and then what I also do is I start just doing a side next to it, like this, and you can just take some of the stain from that side and add it over here. And then depending on how dark you want it, so if you want it to be really light, then you can wipe it away. All you do is take a rag and you just go like this. And then now, if you look up close, all you see is the stain that's actually in the grain part of the door, but there's not actually any stain on the door. I want a darker look, so I'm gonna mix my stain in back over that part of the door. And I'm gonna keep coming down here, making sure I get in every crack. Now, this stain does dry pretty quick, so you wanna do it in sections a little bit at a time. That way, that you don't end up with it like completely black. going like that. <laughs> now I was actually going to do our door a little bit lighter but I had to end up doing it darker because this part of the door like this front part that I'm staining now is a really smooth texture. It doesn't really absorb any of the stain it just goes on top of it but this part of the door is actually more like a matte finish whereas this is more like a satin finish. So where the matte finish is it absorbs so much stain and it's really hard to get this part really really light. So over here on this side if you'll come over here this here i could have gotten really light but i could not get this part of the door that light which is why the door is this dark so anyway i really like how it's training out it's time consuming but i think it looks really good and it kind of has that rustic wood look that i wanted and instead of spending two thousand dollars to get it to look like this it only cost me about 16 bucks and there you have it this part of the door is done i'll zoom in closer so you can see it it's got a nice wood grain look And 
I like the imperfections that it's not perfectly as dark in some spots as it is in the other because it makes it look more like real wood. All right, I'm gonna wipe a little bit of this off. If it's a little bit darker than I want it to be, especially around those edges. I'm just gonna kind of go like this. Wipe a little bit off. And then, smooth it back out. on finished staining the outside of the door as you can see the top part there is not done so I'm gonna try to get that finished today this part isn't done either I gotta add just a little bit more to make that part a little bit darker so if I have time I might try to do that today but anyway working on the door again Silly iPhones do not like to work really well when it's cold outside. Anyway, off. sorry, Elias is playing with his toys there. But anyway, I did get the front of the door done, almost. I gotta do some second coats in some areas, but I really like how it turned out, so I'll show you guys. I couldn't get much footage of it because unfortunately my phone kept shutting off because it's cold, but here it is. I love how this door turned out, especially considering how easy and inexpensive it was to finish this project. We use it as backdrops all the time, family photos before we go places, and honestly, it hasn't chipped off. It still looks fantastic. <laughs>